Welcome to City Skylines. So this area is working very well. I extended this road here and create a little bit of a residential area. I added a police department, a fire department and a parking lot over there. I also added a little bit more trees and I think it's looking pretty cool. So this created a little bit more demand for residential, which I'm going to introduce on this side. I already did a tunnel because this city will also expand over to this side. And down here, I think I'm going to add high density residential. So this avenue, I, I kind of like it. It kind of follows the line of the river. Eventually, I think I'm going to do a bridge here, but I'll work on that later. First, I would like to do a connection to this avenue. And I'm still not sure how I'm going to do this because the terrain is a little bit tricky. And I don't have that much money. And I would like to keep the traffic flowing. So the simple thing would be just to connect this thing over there. But I think I'm going to have to work the terrain a little bit. So I had just had this little weird idea. Since the terrain is so high, why not do another tunnel connecting here? And instead of having a straight line, you would have to come out here, go through the tunnel and come to this part of town. I think it's a cool idea. It keeps this avenue going. It makes just like a little intersection there. I could give priority to this avenue and uh, I think it's going to work. So I should have enough money to complete it. So let's just go. Now, since this uh, there's a different elevation, I kind of want to connect it straight away like this. So that it keeps the same elevation for the tunnel. Uh, we've been through this before. So now there you go. I don't have a lot of money. There we go. So I have a nice connection and it's kind of flat. That's really nice. So now I'm just going to have to rework this avenue. And in fact, I think I'm going to rework this whole area here. Because if I want to have a bridge, I might actually just try to put the bridge right now. And the bridge could come out straight from the tunnel. Let's see. Where would it go? I don't have enough money, but let's just see where it would come out. If I do a straight line. Could come out here. I think the elevation should be okay. But it might be better to actually start elevating it right away. Kind of like this. And then going for the bridge. There you go. It's going to look much smoother. And I can always do a connection from there. And uh, yeah. So how much is it? 9,000. I should reach it in any second. Any second I should reach there. Okay, so I decided to do this like this, and then I'm gonna attach the bridge later. So at least I got a connection right here. So let's fix the junction first. I don't want a light here. I want this to keep going. There you go. And eventually this will have a stop sign here, and we should be good to go. So now let's work out some roads here, because I would like to have some high residential. Um, yeah, the terrain is kind of tricky. One thing that I'm going to do is put the power lines uh, maybe on the other side of the road. Let's see if I can put a bridge. Guys, there you go. So it's not in the way. And then I could just have a line coming down this way. There you go. So I can remove these ones out of here. That thing should be connected later to this uh, residential area. So now let's start doing this because this is a little bit of a steep thing. And um, I could have a nice little avenue here. Would be kind of a buffer for the for this. And then I could cover this up with trees, a, a big line of trees to work as a barrier for the noise. But then the avenue would have to come, yeah. Where would the avenue go? Hmm. Because this tunnel could be a little bit here, couldn't it? And I could even do it not as a tunnel. Might, might, might have to be a tunnel because this is not high enough. But I could do it a little bit more to this side. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to demolish this. 
and work this out a little bit better because it's just taking a lot of room and uh, I think it's gonna be better if I rework this okay so I think like this is a little bit better I actually had to do a tunnel that I didn't have enough room to actually do a road there but I think it's okay then I can come out to the bridge on a curve and I think it's gonna work and now I can actually work a few roads going up there so let's do the smaller roads with like these ones and uh, in fact I'm gonna start by this side let's do a straight line where the division would be and I think I'm gonna go kind of here okay so basically on this side it's gonna be a truffle buffer a truffle buffer what the hell? a tree buffer and on this side I'm gonna have uh, houses But then again, I think I did it wrong again. Uh, because it will be better if the houses are facing the river. And the, the buildings are facing the river. So in fact, let's make this road a little bit out. Kind of more here. Kind of parallel to that side. And now the houses will be on this side. And I can add the trees on the back. I'm just going to have to rework this. Because I would like this to be kind of parallel to this road. And in fact, I see another possibility here. This time, these things happen. I think I think it's cool to to keep improving as we go. The lines of the terrain are kind of in this direction, kind of almost like on the line of the avenue. So in fact, instead of having a straight line down there like that, I'm gonna try to follow the terrain as it is. So I'm gonna try to make a nice little curve here. I'm gonna start kind of like here, and let's see. Yeah, I think like this will be better because it's going to be almost flat. The, the houses themselves are going to look better that way. And I kind of follow the terrain too. So now I can kind of push the terrain a little bit in. It's not going to create too much of a, of a lump here. Just give it some room so that the houses grow a little bit better. Now let's just smooth it out. There you go. A little bit of an area for some houses. And then I can just do another little line like here. And push the terrain against that road. And create another little step where the buildings will be. So I'm also going to have to consider... Another cool thing would be to have another tunnel coming to this road, or maybe a bridge, since that one is actually higher. I don't think it would be a bad idea to have a bridge here. But I would have to raise this, so... Let's see... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough room to have three roads here, so in fact, let's actually st extend this a little bit more. Like this. Let's push it against the avenue and then if I have to retrieve it, I'll retrieve it again. But for the time being, I kind of need this room. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's going to be called the houses up there. I'm going to put a road on this edge so that the houses are actually facing the river. And then down here, I think low residential next to the river would be like uh, you know vacation houses and stuff like that next to the river i think it's gonna work but i still need to think about the road so first let's put a road here following this line i'm gonna unsnap it so that i can follow this line and press it again I usually first snapped for the first click and then now he wants to snap and now I unsnap it so I can do this like that and I think it's gonna look cool like this and then I can uh, work this terrain a little bit do a little bit of a slope and actually connect these two roads together I think it's gonna be the best solution yeah I think it's okay I think it's okay it's not gonna be too steep so let's see if I can do it one go Kind of like this would be nice. Uh, this option here is a little bit tricky because I don't know how to do it 
without placing in the first segment, the first curve. It would be nice if I could do this like this and click a second time and then put in the two curve against curve. But it doesn't look like it's possible, so I think I'm gonna go unsnapped like this, straight, and then like that. It's a, a little bit of a steep curve, but I mean, it's a residential area. Should be okay. I think it should be fine. He created some nice houses here. Unfortunately, he, he wants to snap houses on that side of the road. There you go. But I think it should be okay. A nice line. So let's see. Do I have pipes here? No. Let's bring in some pipes. Oh, I can unsnap the pipes too. I didn't know about it. Okay, so there you go. And let's bring this one too. It's a little bit crisscrossed, but it should be okay. Okay, so it all has pipes. So let's start zoning. I think... Yeah, they don't have a connection to nowhere, the way. <laughs> so let's see. Could I even add another road down here? The thing is, this avenue will not have any houses on it, will it? Yeah. Hmm, let's see. So how about that for a solution? Huh? Even another road right next to the river. And I, I managed to put in a little bit of a bridge here, coming down. So nothing is connected to the avenue, is it? <laughs> That's the only problem that I'm seeing here. Nothing is connected to the avenue. Hmm, they're connecting to each other. That's great, because I figure... I could also add some more residential over that side. I don't think it would be too crazy uh, having a road here. Or maybe I can turn this into something special. Like, uh, do I have any type of wars here? I could have like some sort of a, I don't know, a, a little dock for the boats. Wouldn't be too crazy. Uh, maybe something like that. I'm not sure. And uh, this place here, well, I'm not taking a lot of advantage of this area. But okay, I can actually zone this area too. I just have to work out another connection to this avenue. And I have to still consider that I'm going to have a bridge here. So where the hell am I going to connect to this little avenue? That's the question now. And there you go, it connects like that. Because I was thinking, well, this whole area is mine. And it's completely empty for the time being. So I could totally have a bridge here. And uh, it won't be a terrible idea. Uh, I mean, I, I think I'm going to need a bunch more bridges. I only got one there, here and here. Three. Basically connecting the three. Uh, let's start emptying this out. Apparently a lot of people have been dying. Uh, yeah. Connecting the three islands. And uh, I think I'm just going to need more. But for the time being, I'm just going to start zoning this. So let's go with, uh, with the idea that I had before. Let's put high density up here. And I'm going to go... Let's flatten out a little bit more here. There you go. And now let's move it out. Yeah, I think it should be okay. High residential. And I'm going to try to occupy Orfold blocks because they should grow. They should adapt. There you go. Down here, it's a bit of a bummer that it's actually creating over there on that side. So let's start putting here. Now let's see how it grows. It should connect to the power over there. I hope. And once this thing grows, I'm going to start bringing down the mountain. It's already growing already. Yeah, but it didn't start over there. It would be nice if it starts up there. Okay. They don't have power. Of course not. Why don't those ones zone first? That's what I want to know. 
Okay, well let's fix the junctions while those people are complaining. So let's put a stop sign here. And anything else, I don't think they need to. This is a dead end road. I don't know how to keep you this dead end road. I think I'm actually gonna connect over there. Yeah, I don't know why those ones are not zoning in. I'm not sure. Okay, so I rerouted the lines from there. And I made a little bridge connecting to this side. So these people can actually go to the park. And there's another connection. It's connected to the avenue. The avenue connects to this main one. So it's kind of all con connected, which is kind of nice. Finally, this thing started uh, growing. So now I think I can zone a little bit more here. There you go. And over there, maybe I can flatten out for this line. No, I want it to smooth, man. Sometimes it doesn't. That's my bad. Yeah, she created a little bit of an elevation here. Let's smooth it out a little bit. There you go. It's gonna look nice like this. Now let's see, can I put another house there in the incline? Let's try. You know, oh, there you go. Okay, so nice high residential there. Nobody's complaining for the time being. So let's keep adding more. Like this. Let's push this terrain a little bit against that. There you go. Yeah, let's go for a three. I don't like how it turned out there. So let's put it like this. Let's go all the way here. There you go. And another little one right there. And I can put another one here. Maybe not over there. Okay, so it's gonna be a nice little line. And then I can put some trees on the back. I think it's gonna look cool. And down here, I do have some room to expand a little bit here. So maybe I can put some commercial. Yeah, on the main avenue. So let's actually expand this a little bit to this side. Let's see how it turned out. Yeah, I still have room to put in houses here, and I think I can put some less than some commercial here. There you go, and another one. I think it should be okay. A two, yeah, a two. I think it's gonna be cool. And uh, there you go. You know, I can add a bunch more residential on here. Let's fill it all up. The demand is kind of balanced. This is a little bit of a curve. That's why there's separation. But I think it's going to look pretty cool, having these houses here. They're already growing, so hopefully they will connect via... There, there you go. They're all connecting. Nice. It's the peaks. I mean, it's hard to uh, take optimize the, the area that I got available and making the traffic flow well and stuff. It's kind of difficult to do it, but uh, I think it's working okay. I'm still in nine, above 90% in traffic flow. And I think it should also start being an, a, a good time to actually bring another metro station over to this side. Uh, but I'm going to keep it this way for now. Because when I have more residential here, I'm going to bring another line over there. Up the mountain, I don't think I'm going to bring metro. I'm going to keep up the mountain just with uh, buses. I think it, it works better. What I could do is actually do a bridge here and do a surface station back on this side. I think it's going to look cool, but it's a little bit expensive. And right now I'm still not making money out of the transportation. I'm still in the negative quite a long way. So it's still going to be a while until this is profitable. I think the city has to grow substantially. So yeah, as you can see, that's a big area and there's not a lot of houses there. I could actually try to put houses here on the back. Because they definitely want to grow on this side. And maybe it's not a bad idea. It's going to ruin the, the view a little bit. But I mean, I got to take advantage of this area. I think I do. So let's actually extend these things a little bit here. And try to put some houses over there. I could actually put low residential on this side. 
but I can go for the high residential on both sides. The only problem is he's gonna mess the houses on this lower road. Because when we have a road, we can push it right against it. And it becomes a little bit steep, but it creates a lot of room. Doing it like this, it's kind of hard, but the houses kind of keep it in place. And once these new ones grow, I think it should work. So let's let's add more high residential. Let's go with three. Just to push it a little bit more. More people into the into the system here. Let's see how this one works. And I kinda don't want to put it here because it's a little close to the highway. And uh, yeah, here I don't have a lot of room, so I'm gonna keep it that way. I think I'm gonna let them grow a little bit more over there. I think it should be okay. And there you go, they kind of adapt. Yeah, it's going well. A little bit of commercial there. And uh, these small houses already grew, which is kind of nice. I think a little park is necessary too, but I don't have a lot of room. So that's that's the question. I do have parks there. I don't know why these things are not reached. It, it, sh it should be reached right. There's a straight road straight to the park. It's a little weird that it doesn't supply it. But um, let's try to add something small. Let's see what options we got. Could also add like a basketball court. It would serve the purpose. I could also have something here next to the water. Maybe a beach volleyball court. How about a beach volleyball court? <laughs> right next to the highway. Oh yeah, I think it would fit very well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't have a lot of room for this. I'm probably gonna have to destroy a house. Or create something nice here. And in fact, let's try to do something here. Let's try to bring straight from the avenue. And I go underneath it. Oh, it would be nice. It would be nice if I could go underneath it. So let's actually do a road first. Here. No, I wanted to go underneath. Oh, it doesn't go underneath, does it? Can I go to this little part? Oh yeah, look at that. I sneaked one in. Nice. So now let's try to... Bring it up. There you go. A nice little curvy curve. That's weird as fuck, isn't it? Holy moly. So, I flattened out this area from this height. I flattened out a little bit there. I flattened here and I made a bit of a slope. I think it's gonna look a little bit better. So, in fact, I'm gonna do a little straight road coming out this way. And then I'm gonna have to do another slope here. There you go. I think it should be okay. So now let's try to do a full road coming underneath that thing. Oh, there you go. Oh, I just have to go a little bit more. It was a little too much. Maybe like this. Still a little too much. Maybe like this. There you go. How does it look? Much better. So there you go. It comes out straight from the avenue. And it can come to this little beach area. And um, in fact, it would be better if it actually connected here. But it's kind of cool the fact that this road comes this way, it winds up, and then it connects to the avenue here. But it would definitely be nice to go to this side too. Hmm. I'm gonna try to work this out a little bit better. And there it is. So this road connects all the way there. And then I have this another exit a connection up there. I think it's looking cool. So I'm just going to rework this thing. I don't want to zone here. I mean, in fact, I think I'm going to add some parks. And uh, let's put a beach volleyball court. Why not? Is it big? I think here will be kind of cool. But I think it doesn't look like I have a lot of room there. So I'm going to put it right there. There we go. 
people seem to like it. It has its own parking lot. I think it looks cool over there. Nice. So let's zone a little bit more. I have room. So should this be all houses? I think I'm gonna add a little bit of commercial there. And then the rest, all houses. I didn't add a barrier for the river. Let's see if I have to. Yeah, I think it's kind of okay. I might have, have add a, a barrier just to give it some safety. Uh, but let's add, add a bunch of houses here. There you go. Riverside. I think it looks cool. And uh, in fact, I think this could be high residential here. Because this, the, it doesn't cut up the view from those houses up there. They're really high up. And holy moly, that's a tall building. Uh, but okay, I think I can extend these ones here on the back a little bit. There you go. If they would decide to upgrade, they should have some room to upgrade. But uh, okay, I think it looks cool. Um, let's put another one here. And another one there, right next to the, uh, the the highway. So now let's just finish it off with trees. I think I think it's necessary. I'm gonna have to do a barrier here, and I think these ones are okay because they're not too big. Some of them are. They kind of have different sizes. They randomly come in. Let's see. Can I remove those power lines? No. It kind of goes from that side of town, so I kind of need them here. Although maybe I can bring them from here. I could stick one in. There you go. So if I connect from this side, I should be able to remove those ones over there. There you go. That's nice. So let's keep adding trees. Let's make a nice little line here. actually make two lines well, let's see does it make a difference in terms of noise not sure I'm gonna add a little bit more I think I'm gonna add these small bushes and let's see if it actually makes a difference and it's pretty cool that I can actually add them while the thing is on I kind of feel like, no, the color... Holy moly. It kind of doesn't like it, does it? kind of feel like the color changed a little bit. I think I'm going to turn this thing off and uh, place trees before. Oh, these ones are a little bit smaller. They should work too. Let's make a little... We should be able to identify the difference in color, right? Make a little bit of a forest here. Yeah, I don't know, but I kind of feel like the game recognizes the trees as a barrier. I feel like they do. So, it's working. Nice. And let's see how the fire department and stuff is working. So, maybe I, yeah, I have a fire department right there. I think later on I'm going to add another one here. And it should be good to go. In terms of police. There's another one there right too, so it should be okay. There you go. A nice little residential area with some commercial and uh, I reached 16,000 yet. It's just uh, I've been growing uh, little by little. But you know, that's how it goes with the room that I got. Uh, for example, here it should be much easier to expand and add a big area. And that's I think where I'm going to go next since I already have this tunnel and I could add another uh, two connections, one here and one here. And uh, also another one for the for the garbage trucks coming from this side. And uh, I don't think anyone will use this road as a connection to go over there, for example, because it's just faster to go through here. Be so this road here will mostly only be used by the trucks themselves. The only uh, thing that might use this for 
is to go through the tunnel to this part of town. But that should be okay. Because it's an avenue, you should be able to deal with that kind of traffic. So that's good, let's stop uh, emptying out. This one is empty too, so that's good. Okay, I don't have to worry about landfills, I don't have any more now. So we should be okay. Well, let's just take a look at the end of the university. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. And the thing is, there's no connections. These things are blue because there's a metro station here. They goes to the university. So these ones have nothing, not even a bus line. So I'm going to have to add another bus line to cover this up. And uh, maybe add a few taxi stands. And uh, okay, a little bit of progression. It, this took a lot of work, a little bit of time. And it takes a lot of money too. And you know, I think it's looking nice. Not too complicated, looking different. And I think it worked. Thank you for watching and until next time.